Hello YouTube. Right, what I have here is a Yamaha KP65 drum pedal. And this drum pedal is faulty. The sensor has gone, so when you put that into the DTX Express 2 and you plug it in, you don't get anything, it's dead. And obviously there's a fault with the sensor. Now to buy these, in a, uh, obviously online and in a shop, you're probably looking at around 77 euros, I think, in Toman over in Germany. And I don't really want to fork out 77 euros for a new bass drum pedal because it be it would be my third pedal. I had two of these already, and I'm I don't really want to buy a third. And what I'm looking for are the electronics for this. So I'm going to open this up now and show you what's inside, and. If anybody knows where to get these parts, I have emailed Yamaha, so if I, if I get an update or an email from Yamaha and I find the parts, I'll do an update to this video. But let's just open this up and see what's inside. Now, the first thing you do is, this is the where the pad is where you hit with your bass drum pedal. So the first thing you do is you have to get underneath here and you need to pull it off. So we'll try and do that now. There you go, so that's off and that's what it looks like. See ya. So you grab it from the bottom and pull it from the bottom. And then I'll move that to one side. So you're left with the pad. And you can see, I don't know what you can see in the camera there. I play double bass drum pedal and this is just two indents there from the two bass drum pedals. So it's got a bit of a kicking off me. Okay, so if we turn it over and next we have to take this cover off. We just take that off like that. So that's just a plastic cover there. So what we have here, that's the sensor. So when the bass drum hits, the sensor picks it up and then there's a board in here. And the board, this is a piece of paper here, uh, on the board it says it's a Yamaha 1022 JK X2332 CMK1-P3X. That's what's on the actual board. So it's very simple. It's just a small circuit board that's there. Let me see if I can get it close to get to the camera there. See if you can focus. You can see it there. The small turn it up that way. You can see a circuit board there. That way there. I know I'm blocking the, the blocking the light there. So the circuit board there. And that's the details. I'll put the details up in the video. And um, this is just the level, the sensitivity level on the back, like a volume control knob. It's a pot just there. And then you have two inputs. So this sensor you can buy pretty cheap on AliExpress. They actually sell them. Uh, and sometimes what happens with this sensor is one of the causes of the problems is that it just comes away from the actual pad and you get glue and you didn't actually glue it and stick it back on but as you can see with my one it's stuck on and it hasn't come out so it must be either the pad that's faulty or it's actually the circuit board that's faulty now the cheapest option would be to remove the actual pad get a new pad and then try that and see if it works and if it works great because they're very cheap on aliexpress but if it's the circuit board that's gone obviously that's a different issue and i've tried looking and finding this circuit board and i can't find it so i've emailed yamaha so for the moment uh, for part one of this um i just have a pedal that doesn't work uh, so if i get the spare parts or i buy the actual sensors and put it in and get it working i will do a part two and let you know how i got on with it but if you can buy that if you can buy the parts and just replace them it's going to save you a lot of money rather than paying 77 euros because this is just a metal frame there's nothing in it there and um, i would also suggest 
that if you do get the sensor, uh, if you have the same problem and you have a, the sensor is not working and you fix it, because I have two end indents here, what I'll be looking at doing is getting a bit of like foam like this. Take that off. And I'll probably put a little bit of foam on like that on the front and then put the, uh, the casing back on because them two indents, I mean, they're well, they're well worn. So if I put that in and put it in and have it nice and tight, then that will actually uh, help to uh, make it last the longevity of the pedal. Yeah. So there you go. So that's the current state of play with the KP65 Yamaha DTX Express 2 pedal. And if I can find the parts and source the parts, then obviously I'll let you know as well, just in case you're looking to do the same thing. All right. Cheers.